So what is the home remedy for uh, lice? So if your children is infested with hair lice, you can use mayonnaise and then pour it all over the child's hair. So this is how you do it. Gabby has a lot of lice. <laughs> so it's like that. Kyla, do you want to come closer? Okay, so they know. Like that. So just put it all over the hair. And drench it. Massage it onto the scalp. Okay. Now, the function of the the mayonnaise is to suffocate all of the lice so they will not be able to breathe that's the purpose of the mayonnaise so you just put it here in the hair for a couple of hours probably around uh, five hours if you're not doing anything and then after that you rinse it after rinsing it um, you rinse it with white vinegar. So the white vinegar keeps the scalp yeah, acidic because our skin has to be acidic to fight off all of the uh, dandruff, bacteria, fungi. Is it itchy, Gabs? What is it? It's ticklish. <laughs> so look at that. So in the scalp, massage it. Okay. Massage it in the skull. Okay. I can't wait to watch the yeah. video. Now, the thing is, why I prefer natural over synthetic, it's that um, the natural, it's safe, you know. And uh, me and my husband were always talking about natural alternatives. So, I think he doesn't believe that natural is better than synthetic. So, I'm going to prove him wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to prove him wrong. I sure do believe I natural is better. Yeah, natural is way... When it comes to lies, yeah. Here in the U.S., it's actually a stigma. So, if you, they will send your child back home if they have lies. So, but in, in Phil, no, it's just okay. <laughs> I remember when I was young, you know, my hair, I think I have lice until I was like grade 5. So that's around 11 years old. Ew. <laughs> but here in the U.S., no. You have to treat them. So, okay. So you have seen it already. It's all drenched. Okay. Are you okay, Gabby? 